the Green Hut in Morton on the Wirral was a recommendation. So I thought, well, it's not a bad day today. Friday, the sun's sort of out. It's windy. And uh, let's give it a go. Was it worth it? Right, we're over here in the Wirral in Morton. And it's just over the side there, there's the, the beach. It's like a, a tidal break there that you have to sort of get over. And having lived just on the other side of the D, I know what that's like, because we had them over there too. And it's a really popular location, it seems. And as you can see by the queue there, I've got you I've got the camera pointing that way so you can see what's going on. But okay, let's give it a go. Just ordered some simple foods because the queue was quite some way. Okay, what we've got here is, we've got salt and pepper fish goujons. And I believe it's cod. So let's have a little look at this. Batter seems fine, crispy. I'm gonna give them an O. That is tasty. There was five pieces in here for me. I'm just going to break open this chunky one. Yeah, the fish is lovely. Hmm. You know what, that is really nice. And as you know, I don't just review food. I review the whole thing. I review the customer service. I review the area that we're in. I review how clean the place is. I review everything about it. Okay, we're going to have a little look at the fish and chips. Okay. Well, I asked for a large fish, and what I've got is a decent sized fish, and then two other sections of fish. So, that's how they've made up their large fish. Well, that'll do for me. That'll do. Well, let's give it the taste test. Okay, I'm going to go with this here. Oh, that's lovely! Look at that. It almost looks like um, it almost looks like it a loin, and a loin part of the fish is behind the head to the end of the, the dorsal fin, and above the lateral line, it's usually a quick, a thick, solid lump of meat. Mm. That is delicious. I'm going to give this fish on its own a try. That is super. I really, I really wasn't expecting that coming out of such a small place. A place that's, it, it kind of almost looks like a shed, it's just bigger. And you wouldn't think it'd have all the, all the facilities in there, all the, the, the gear for the cooking. But they do breakfasts, they do other kinds of food. I put a bit more salt on these chips. They looked a little greasy, but they're actually not. Right, so let's have a little taste of the curry. And this is a sweet curry. You know, that is really nice. I'm going to have a little dip of this dip of this fish in there. Mm. Oh, it's delicious. And what a great place to come for a day out. Just over there you've got, well, within, I don't know, let's say 50 metres of the shop itself, you've got public toilets you have to pay, you use a card, that's okay. And it's about 30 pence or something like that. Parking is free and there's loads of it, so there's no problem there. And this was recommended by a lovely lady named Alison Elliott. So thank you for that. Yeah, what a little treasure this place is. Oh, oh, pineapple fritters. So we've got a dessert as well. 
Now you can have them with cream, ice cream, all kinds of things that they've got going on in there. So let me break a little bit off. They look nice and white. They've been sugared. Mmm. Oh yeah. They are really nice. Delicious. The batter's nice and light on those. Very light. Or maybe they use a different batter or they, they just put it on lightly. I don't know. But overall, well, I'll let you know when we go back to the computer. Look at some reviews over the last year for this place. We normally pick two or three reviews, sort of the worst one, a sort of a three star, maybe a five star, and then I write my own. So as you can see, we enjoyed it. What a great little spot. You know, I'd seen the images of it, but I didn't really imagine that the car park was free. And although it was windy and you couldn't really use the beach, the option is there on a nice day. And there was plenty of dog walkers as well. So if you have a dog, it'd be a nice little walk along the front on the inside. It's a promenade. It's, it's a pathway that with nothing else there, I don't think, but it's a pathway running along with a breakwater. And that which is quite high, and the steps are okay. You're not going to get a wheelchair up there. But it was great, and there was loads of space in the car park. The toilet is a, the public toilets are a bonus, and clean, they were tidy. You know, you get expect to go into some of this toilet roll rolling out the door when you open it. And God knows what up the walls. But it wasn't like that at all. And it, I think it was about 30 pence. You just swipe your card over and the door unlocks and it was as simple as that and what a great little spot the green hut's in you know it has its own little seating area benches and picnic tables and they're growing something down the other end they're doing a little planting of something i have no idea what but it's going to enhance the whole look of the place and it's easy to get to the menu's extensive it's not just for fish and chips I mean, that's, that's going to be the attraction, but you can have a breakfast there, a fry up, and you can have all kinds of other meals throughout the day. Yeah, it's got a five star hygiene rating, and the staff are friendly, everything about it. It's a little gem, it really is. And if you're ever up in that area, or even near it, anywhere near it, I uh, suggest you call in. Right, so let's have a little look at these reviews. Now, they're all Google reviews, and you know, there's three of them. That there's the one star, a three star, and a five star plus mine. One star. Been going to the Green Hut for a long time. Been today. Spent fifteen pound on three regular chips, a large sausage, and two cartons of gravy. The portions are now tiny, really expensive, and the chips were warm ups, and most went in the bin. Will not be going again. Very disappointed. That was two months ago. Three star. We have been desperate to visit Green Hut. It was lovely and a tick in the box. But surrounding area from car park to promenade needs a good clean up. So much litter and disgusting stuff. Five star. Went here yesterday for the first time. Amazed at the queue, which made me realise how good it must be. Fabulous choice on the menu. Only had fish and chips, but absolutely perfect. Piping hot and cooked fresh was definitely proper cod. Lovely atmosphere, pleasant surroundings, will definitely go again. Mine, a five star. This charming spot in Morton came highly recommended and I'm delighted I decided to visit. On a chilly Friday around 1pm, I expected it to be relatively quiet. However, I was pleasantly surprised to find quite a queue, with people savouring their meals atop walls, in the vehicles, and on the provided picnic tables and benches. The car park was spacious, complimentary, and offered steps at one end, leading over a break wall to the beach. Impressively, there was a well-kept public toilet block available for a few pence payable by credit or debit card. The ambience was welcoming, the food surpassed expectations, and the location was perfect. And despite being incredibly busy, the staff remained amiable, ensuring the whole area was kept clean and orderly. They were cooking in oil, Hygiene rating was 5, they took cash or card, and the fish I reviewed was cod. All in all, fabulous. And like I say, get yourself over there.
it's a great day out down there too you know even for a few hours if you've got to walk the dog it's um no it's, it's a lovely atmosphere the food's great yeah so join me on the next one